Hey there and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here. I'm back with another haul video. I feel like it's been a really long time since I've gone to Charlotte Russe and actually like bought pieces and brought them home with me and I figured why not because there was actually just a huge sale going on. I think like dresses and jumpsuits were like $20. So I took advantage and picked up some pieces. But before I get into the haul portion of this video, I want to thank Scentbird for sponsoring this video. I have been super, super intrigued for a really long time. I've seen them all over YouTube. Scentbird is a subscription service, but for perfume. I am actually a little bit of a perfume junkie. I have scents that I've gone back to through the years. I feel like all the deals for perfume are online but then you can't really tell how something's gonna smell so it's always a bit of a gamble i'm also really sensitive to smell as well so i feel like investing those like hundred dollars or so in like a big vial of perfume is just a little bit too much of a risk for me but scentbird actually has an amazing amazing alternative to that so it's about $13 a month and you get one sample perfume. They have 450 designer perfumes to choose from. These are guaranteed like 100% the real deal because I've had situations in the past before where I've bought perfume and I'm like, this isn't this is not the real thing. It's guaranteed to last you at least 30 days. And if you really like it, you can go ahead and buy the full size perfume. Again, no risks. So when you think sample sizes, you might be thinking of something about this size, but this is the size you get from Scentbird. Let me just uh, show you a little bit of a comparison there. They also do have a subscription option where you can pick three cents a month. So if you're like me, that means variety. That means different scents for different occasions. And I really, really like having that variety. You just twist and then you so good. And then if you want to refill, you just pull up. So this one is actually Kate Spade, which I love Kate Spade, but I don't love Kate Spade prices. But my personal favorite is this one, which is called Dahlia. I'll take it out just to confirm. Yes. Um, and it smells just incredible. I've worn this a few times already. But here's another thing that I actually really like about Scentbird. They do a really, really good job at explaining what perfumes are going to smell like. Like I could tell this was going to be a nice warm scent from the way they described it. And it just came smelling a thousand times better than I had anticipated. Scentbird has 450 designers like Kate Spade, Calvin Klein, Burberry, you name it. If you guys are interested in checking them out, I'm gonna have a coupon code for you, as well as the links to these perfumes that I got. Packaging sleek, it's an incredibly affordable price, and it's super low risk. I'm, I'm hooked, I'm totally hooked. <laughs> All right guys, you are probably super antsy to see the haul portion of this video, so I'm gonna get right into it. So grab a snack, get comfortable, and let's get started. Okay, so I had totally different ways that I wanted to record this video, but this piece has inspired me to give you more of like, I don't know, I feel like when I record the videos, I don't always remember the fit, and so this has just inspired me to record this while I have it on. Um, first and foremost, I could not get this little button done at the back on my own. I tried and I tried and I tried and it just, it's very, very tiny, not something that you can necessarily do on your own and maybe I could get it on with it done, but I mean, I just don't see it happening because this is already kind of tight around my belly and stuff. This is, if you haven't already noticed, a romper and I kind of thought it was a dress when I picked it up, but I'm okay with the fact that it's a romper. It's actually really, really cozy on the bottom. And I'm actually really appreciating rompers like this now because it gives the illusion of it being a dress while the security of you wearing pants and not having to worry about like wind sweeping up your skirt and stuff. I'm really sorry that I'm super exposed right now. This romper has pockets, which I just discovered literally two seconds before pressing record. It's a very light fabric as well, which I really, really love. This would actually be perfect for weather like we're having tomorrow, which is gonna be kind of cool, but not cool enough to like 
go bundled up. It's really cozy on the body. I will say this though, this is a size 2X by the way. There was just no 3X, so I picked this one up from Charlotte Russe. Um, it's definitely snugger in my belly than I'm used to. I feel like with most rompers, I kind of want to get something that's a little bit looser around the belly, but it's not by any means giving me any discomfort or snagging in areas that maybe it would previously. It's actually pretty comfortable, all things considered. There's an elastic waist as well, which just adds to the comfort of it. The sleeves are really pretty. I'm so fond of the color, like this mustard color is my favorite. And then it's got purple, which is not a color that I typically wear, but maybe this will inspire me to add more purple into my wardrobe. You can see though that this is gonna be like a nice deep V-neck, which I really like. Everything about this is just like really nice. And I think that I might hold on to it just because I can see myself wearing this a lot in the summer. All right, so next up is another romper, which you can probably guess I'm into rompers right now. I know what, I'm going for something a little bit new this summer. This one is in a size 2X again. I couldn't find a 3X when I was inside Charlotte Russe. What you can't tell is that there's like lining and it like goes right to here. It's like kind of interesting that they would add it because I don't really consider this to be very see-through, but I guess it's just taking the precautions it needs to make sure that I'm not really showing anything or maybe this fabric would be a little bit see-through in the sun. It kind of feels like it because it's a little bit on the thin side. The only thing I will mention though is because it's lined on the inside, I do feel like it makes it a little bit tighter of a fit than if it wasn't because the lining itself is kind of smaller and definitely like hugs my thighs a little bit more. So the waistband itself is elastic, but in this case, I actually don't find that it has much give. It, kind of feels like it's a little bit low waisted as well but i think that's just because i've got a belly and i've got a butt and those two things in general i think might be stopping it from hitting me as high as it should because i feel like even when i go like this the top starts to pull down a little bit the top too is elastic which i really like because it kind of means it's going to keep it in place i don't feel like it's going to fall down on me at all this is definitely um, on the warmer side you guys this is great for like a cool summer day or maybe like sitting by the water or something but it's really really comfortable on the body I will say that might be also hard to notice but there's tassels along there and this does sit kind of long that's my only gripe I feel like um, I would like a little bit better if it sat just higher if there wasn't so much fabric that's just my personal preference though. You might feel like it looks good, but I just think it kind of gets lost under my bust. You can't really see my ankles. I'm gonna try and get myself balanced here. Um, but they do flare out at the ankles there. I really like it. It's super, super comfortable. But the one thing is this is $40 and I don't think I love it enough to really keep it for $40. I think I'm actually gonna probably return this because I just feel like I might be able to find a romper that's better suited for me. And even the first romper I showed you, I like it a lot more on me. And this one also doesn't have pockets. So, I mean, the other one has pockets, it's mustard, and I like it a lot more. So I think I'm probably gonna send this one back. All right, so I have a few different thoughts about this one. Again, it's a romper. I'm sorry. I didn't even realize that a few of these pieces were rompers when I was buying them. But as I was saying, I'm kind of on the fence about this one. I like it and I don't like it. I'm not a huge fan of the sleeves and where they hit me. I just feel like they're not doing anything for me. They're kind of big. They're kind of baggy, but in like not a great way. And I also feel like it's a little bit lackluster in some ways. I feel like if I'm going to wear a romper, I kind of want it to have a little bit of a pop to it in a way, if that makes sense. However, what I do think is great about this romper is this would be really, really good for the office. I haven't been in an office setting in a really long time, so totally correct me if I'm wrong, but I just feel like the fact that this is stripes, the fact that this is navy blue, and the fact that this is relatively conservative, you could totally get away with this 
going to the office and it's really comfortable on the body. It's also really nice and thin fabric, so that means that you wouldn't have to boil getting to and from work. But again, I don't know if workplaces frown upon, you know, you wearing shorts to the office. I think that if I were a boss, I'd be like, yeah, wear the romper, it's great. It fits the office theme perfectly. I did get this one in a 3X, definitely feel like it's a lot more roomy. This one's a little bit more affordable too, it's 25 bucks. And I just feel like compared to the other romper that I just tried on, this one would probably get a little bit more wear. This also can be worn off the shoulder like so, or if you want to go a little bit more conservative, you could wear it up. But yes, let me know what you guys think about this one because I'm kind of like on the fence about it. Maybe I'd like it if I wore it out more, but I just don't really know if I'm going to return All right, I promise you this is the last romper. I have other things to show you, but this one, believe it or not, is actually not from the plus sizes. When I was checking out at Charlotte Russe the other day, I asked if there were any plus sizes mixed in with the straight sizes because they always have cuter things for the straight sizes than plus sizes, so I figured why not. And they said yes, which I didn't know. I had no idea that they did that. So if you're shopping in store, pro tip, check the straight size section. You never know what you're gonna find. But as I said, this is not a plus size. This is actually an XL, but when I picked it up, I was like, Mm, there is a slight chance that's gonna fit me. It has tons of stretch and it freaking fits. I know this is probably meant to be a little bit looser on the body. I mean, actually, who knows how this is supposed to be worn. It's so comfortable. It's so soft. I really, really wish you guys could like reach out and touch this fabric. It's amazing. As I already mentioned, so much stretch, like literally everywhere. And it doesn't feel like it's too small on me whatsoever. I feel very comfortable with this on. This is something that I can see myself like throwing on to just go run some errands or trying to look cute for like a beach day or even like going out for, I don't know, coffee or something. So many different ways to wear this. It's yellow, it's got polka dots, it's got this really cute trim. There's really not much else I could ask for. I really, really wish this was the kind of stuff that we were seeing in Charlotte Russe plus size section. And, and I got some sunglasses to go with them. One second. So I've been loving blue and yellow together. I think that this is such a good match. I've been looking for like a good pair of like blue shades. Mind you, I've been looking for a good pair of like light blue shades, but I really liked these ones and I figured why not take them? They look really good with this yellow. They look good with a lot of things too. I mean, Charlotte Russe does accessories really well. They do accessories really well. They do bags really well. They do shoes really well. So I feel like every time I go in, I can't leave without getting some sort of like accessory. And these ones are really cute and I like them together a lot, even though I can't see myself right now because it's too dark, but I like the blue and the yellow. All right, so these are the last two pieces that I picked up from Charlotte Russe. This is a top and a size 3X. The bottoms are in a size 22. To be honest, I was expecting these to fit pretty loose. Um, I don't know if it's me or I don't know if it's Charlotte Russe. I definitely know I have two pairs of jeans from Charlotte Russe that are in a size 20 and they fit pretty well. Like be running a little bit small on the jeans. So I was kind of hoping they would be a little bit baggy. The top is baggy and I think it's supposed to be worn more like this. But with these shorts, I like it better up like this so you can see a little bit of midriff. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely feel like I just stepped out of the 90s. These were the kind of outfits that I used to see like the cooler older kids wear when I was like a little kid in the 90s. This is also the kind of outfit I always wished I could wear when I was younger. I never wore anything even remotely revealing or risky. So to be able to wear it now is kind of really comforting and rewarding in a lot of ways. But to get a little bit more specific about the pieces, the shorts are not my cup of tea. I kind of just picked them up to see how the whole look would be together. I'm not a huge fan of the distressed look. I just figured I would try it because I felt like it would go really well. I just, I'm not into it. I don't think it's for me. I really tried, I really tried to give it a shot. And also they are a lot longer than I'm used to. Maybe they're normal for most people, but as for the top, I really, really like it. The back is tied, but I don't hate it, to be honest with you. I actually really like it on. I just kind of worry that with the fabric this is, and it's that like 
non-braid fabric that there's no way in hell that I could wear this out on a warm day like today without sweating buckets. So maybe this is something better suited for cooler days. I feel like a lot of the pieces I got were for cooler days, but I mean, it is still spring. But for me, I think the shorts are definitely gonna go back. I'm kind of on the fence about the top. I just really like it because it makes me think of my childhood. The top was about $30. The shorts were about $20. I actually just realized that this would look really cute with these sunglasses. Yep, that's a look. I can't see myself, but I just can physically think of what it looks like all together, and that's gonna be a look. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is everything for the haul portion of this video. I feel like I might be returning a lot less than I anticipated. But you know what? It was a great deal, so I feel like I'm kind of getting my money's worth. I want to thank Scentbird again for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much. Let me know what you guys think of the pieces that I hauled, which ones you think I should keep, which ones you think I should return. And don't forget, you can find new videos for me every Wednesday and every Sunday, and new blog posts every Tuesday and every Thursday, and I'll see you next time. Bye!